We live on HODB with Stack Federa. What up? You're listening live with Stax Cordero. This is Jay Sanchez. My name is uh, Jay Sanchez, also known as Hodge. And um, basically, I'm the founder of Sun Media Group. I'm one of the founding partners of Zulu Merch, which is a Zulu Nation um, commerce website, and uh, Urban Dwellers, you know, we're getting ready to celebrate the 25th anniversary of that. It's an organization that we pretty much started back in, um, like, 25 years ago of a uh, retrospect group of artists, and um, just kind of put them together to where we can just kind of be creative and, you know, kind of like a little mini ad street mini ad agency, you know, so we're doing a lot of album covers, posters, stickers, and stuff like that for groups and for different events and conferences. Wow, and, um, so you're kind of like um, in the heart of the legends and almost amongst the kings of media having done everything that you just mentioned because all of these things were key in promotion before how do you feel about everything being on social media now oh it's just way easier you know it's it, i mean before it was you had pen pals i mean you know you, you have you would have to write to make the contact and then i mean it just the process was so slow we had a little fax machine we had to scrounge up money to just <laughs> come up with toner, you know, just to, get, true. A, just to get the true. contract and, you know, and then sign them. And the paper that was coming on, it was just, it was like thermal paper. So we had to buy the paper. <laughs> we had to use some of the guerrilla graffiti tactics, you know, and just, you know, had to go racking, you know. So you had to go in the office depot, rack all that stuff, you know. You know that's what we knew. We didn't have a whole lot of money, but. Little by little, we started putting stuff together. You know, I was back in the early days, but obviously now, you know, things are a lot easier because now you don't have, you know, you don't have to go through that, you know, hard copies and stuff like that. Obviously, you know, when you're solidifying, you know, an agreement, a contract, and yeah, it's, it's it's good. But with social media, I love it because you could just, you know, it's just instantaneous. You know, there is no delay having to go to print, you know. Come over, you That's true, and everybody on. can share it and tweet it and put it all over Facebook, and within minutes, if they love it, you've had over a thousand shares. Yeah, exactly. So you know, I, I you know, I feel good about that's, it. I like. It. Yeah, that's that's the great thing about it. That is the great thing about it. So you have a hip hop coin. Yes, me and uh, I have I have uh, silent partners. You know, and um, we came up with this concept. I'd say it took us three years to come up with the whole concept, the design, everything, to piece it together. You know, mm -hmm. there's, yeah, it just, it took a little process, you know, but we were waiting for everything to come back properly, you know, so we have a federal trademark. Um, it's a registered mark, not a trademark, but it's a registered mark. Um, so we just wanted to wait for all that stuff to come, you know, and get approved and, you know, have all that stuff. Uh, it's, it's pretty impressive that you did that. Now, what are some of, um, and congratulations, because it's, it's the first of its kind. So just, you know, just the whole thought process and the, the creative geniuses that came together and said, you know what, hip-hop deserves a coin. Kudos to you. Um, what do you think would be well i don't want you to give away any of the anything that may be in the future but what do you think maybe one of the coins now that the kids would want to have like maybe as a collector's item if you had to come up with one tonight well there i mean we have part of that that process i mean there was a huge think tank with everybody and we were just coming up with those ideas like like what you just mentioned 
you know, mm-hmm. what do the kids want, you know. So we're pretty much focused on the Americana, you know, just American music history, you know, because at the end of the day, that's what hip hop is. It there is. is no beef. There is no beef about, oh, well, is this thing going to be around for the next five, ten years? You know, I mean, we, I, I in my eyes, we kind of surpassed a lot of uh, different genres, you know, and we're still here today when it was supposed to be a fad. And, you know, that 45 years later, you know, we see that it's not mm-hmm. a fad. It evolved, it tra- transitioned. So there's a couple other concepts that, that we had in mind that we're going to release prior to this. You know, this is our, our third round of coins that that we um, that we produced. A lot of them, we're just not, you know, we're not broadcasting it, you know. It's available, a lot of people know, but we're just not broadcasting it because through marketing and things of that nature and doing everything on a grassroots level, You know, we kind of take our time with it. We don't get, and that's one thing that I noticed, you know, a lot of people have a great idea, you know, they'll launch it, they get discouraged, you know, six months later, they don't see the numbers coming in right. It's things that, Mm -hmm. things just have to mature, you know, so for those that appreciate American history and music and hip hop, and they have that passion, that's who this coin is targeting. Okay. Well, for um, for some of our listeners who may not be familiar, can you share who, like, the first coin? Can you describe what the first coin looks like? Or who, first, because, that, y- yeah. Yeah, the first coin, basically, it's a design that we came up with. And it basically, you know, it sure shows the, um, the state and where, you know, Hip hop was created, you know, according to the according to the legends, you know, um, you know, it was you know create you know founded in the Bronx, you know. But there's, I hear all these other things that you know it could have been in Brooklyn, here, there, wherever, you know. But as far as what we know and and the rules that we're going by is, you know, we have you know the Bronx, so we have on one side in the Bronx, New York, you know, which is where it was founded. Pretty much. I mean, I'm sure it went back further, but that's what we're going by. That's the staple that we're okay. going by. And then it and then it has the 40th, you know, so there's like a, it just has like a 40th design and then with the anniversary right below it. And then the circumference is kind of like a turntable since it's the same shape of a, of a, uh, of a disc, you know, it's a coin. So it's circular. So we kind of gave it the little grooves of a Technique 1200, you mm-hmm. know, the little, the little round things that go around uh, the turntable. So we just kind of went with that, you know, just because it, it was kind of related. I mean, it's not shape of a microphone or a spray can. So I, we, we all felt that that was the right approach. It's just kind of go with that. And um, that's somewhat of a trying to paint a picture here but obviously you know we'll have some images that i'll have to you guys so you guys can kind of show what the coin looks like and then on the flip side you flip the coin so we have a side a and a side b of the coin Mm -hmm. you know just like anything else you know just when you buy your favorite you know back in the day you bought your record you had a side a side b so then what we did was on the other side again Within this three-year period span, you know, we were like, okay, well, what can we do? I said, all right. So the guys came up with Hip Hop Saved My Life. Right. So That's cool we because like, Hip Hop did save a lot of people. And it definitely it brought in a lot of revenue. So I, I think that um, I think that the Hip Hop coin, you know, once, once all your patents come through and stuff like that, it can definitely be something that, proves to be very lucrative yeah well we have and I, I can't i can't wait to see the collection i want to own one i need to see it <laughs> yeah absolutely. i need to see it mm-hmm. absolutely. Now, we what do they go the for tip. if you can talk about price retail retail they when we release when we release them they're 150 dollars okay we have a commercial the uh i don't know were you able to see the commercial the chinese share the commercial with i you? did I did. Okay. 
Okay, so yeah, so $149 is what we were retailing them. So what we're doing is we're just trying to find the price, a good, decent price point, because I would like for everybody to have one at this point, because mm -hmm. we were past the stage of, okay, well, you know, we want to move X amount. So now we're comfortable. Now we're at the point where we're like, okay, we want everybody just to have one, because if you're, you know, this is our music, you know, this is what we grew up on. And since it's the first coin, it's like the way I like to put it is imagine if you had the first United States penny, you know, mm. penny, a penny's not worth anything, but imagine if you had, if you had the first penny or the first year of those pennies, when they, when they first came out, you would be a millionaire right now. Not saying that you're going to be a millionaire by owning this coin, but what I'm saying is I'm a collector. I, I collect, you know, archives and things, you know, that that deal with hip-hop. You know, I'm just a connoisseur, you know. I just appreciate it, you know. I, pre, you know, I just love it. You know, I just love everything that has to do with hip-hop. And I just want to own a piece of history. So mm -hmm. since... I'm that kind of person, so I'm that kind of person, so I don't know how many other people feel the same same way that I feel about, you know, owning a piece of history, so that's why it was our motive to create something like this, to have something, something that you could share with your, your children, something that you could pass down, and be able to say, hey, son, daughter, I can't give you the first penny that was made in the United States, but I can give you the first coin that was created, you know, for the culture of hip hop. Yeah. You know, and that and that was that was our approach, you know, and that was our. I mean, cause there was a there's there was a lot that was involved in. I mean, this thing. You know, it wasn't it wasn't that easy to to come up with the with the whole concept and the grasp and and to go into manufacturing and. You know, it was just, you know, it was, it wasn't that easy. You know, I thought it was like, okay, because it, it sounds simple. Okay, just produce, a, you know, come up with some <laughs> money, produce a coin, and that's it. You know, design, I mean, we're all designers. It wasn't that easy. You know, we had, we had to learn, okay, well, we have to get everything, you know, trademarked, you know, and then you release it. So right. that's, so, that, that's a lesson that I learned. You know, and I learned from other people's mistakes. So I see people got great ideas, but they go, they release it, and then that's it. And it's like, wow, okay, now your now your idea got stolen, or or this concept got stolen. So that's why we want to do it. We want to take our time with it. We had to wait because they don't really move that fast. You know, federal doesn't move fast at all. So we had to wait. So once we got all the paperwork in. It's like, all right, great. We were able to raise enough capital to produce our merchandise, and then boom, we went into production. And then we had to produce the commercial. We had to, you know, do all the photo ops. And we're still not even, we're not even really done. You know, I don't think because this is a thing that it's not going to end. You know, right? Is this this is the first coin? This isn't the first coin that. I mean, we're we're going on our fourth coin that we're going to be producing. So. You know, um, it's I think just that's amazing. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, but it's just a piece of Amer Americana that you can just own and share with, you know, your loved ones and show, hey, I was part of this. I was involved in this. And who knows, mm -hmm. 100, years from, 100 years from now, that coin, what is it going to be worth? Man. If you I don't know, know. <laughs> that's don't, just like know. that's just like you know the the worth of uh, of of a baseball card. Something that someone has in their possession right now is is worth a million dollars. Just like you, you know the the Michael Jackson doll could be you know he's no longer here. So if you had yeah. that doll, if you have you know any vinyl on him, it's worth money and people will pay for that. So you're definitely paving the way, you know, for your uh, your descendants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To uh, to be straight, you know, and and yeah. also to be proud because what you're doing is instantly becoming part of history. Yeah, absolutely. And then when we went to South Africa, 
we also put them in the uh, the Zulu Nation museums when we were in South Africa because around that same time, I would say, when was it? When did we go to South Africa? It was last summer. We were in we were in Africa, and we met with we met with the kings, the monarchs wow. of Zulu. And uh, you know, we got invited to the 200 year anniversary for Shaga, King Shaga. So, and he was the uh, the king of, of Zulu. Like when you go to South Africa, it was just, it just blew us. I was blown away, you know. And you walk in, you know, because like some of my some of my partners, you know, because we were also involved with you know, Universal Zulu Nation. Mm-hmm. And um, when we got invited. You know, we saw all this, and I was like, wow, okay, this is great. They got an airport that's called Shaka Zulu, you know? Wow. And you see, over here, I mean, that's, wow. You have a a whole wealth of knowledge that I think can really go beyond the coin. But just for you to be able to have that experience, living in New York, right? And thank God you're well-traveled, but you're one of many. But living in New York, sometimes you may feel like this is the end-all, be-all, right? Like you can only imagine us actually being kings and queens, but you were there in a castle, whatever that looks like. You know, oh, so yeah. your experience is really true to life. So that's that's amazing. And if you have pictures and stuff like that, like this, like I said, you have a wealth of knowledge that should definitely go beyond the coin. Um and I was about to share some info, but I'm not going to do that for this for this interview. That would have to be off record. So, okay. Jay, it has been amazing speaking with you. Can you give us your social media contacts? Yeah, uh, basically, it's it's in it's Zulu it's Zulu merch. That's where you're able to find everything. That's the keyword. So, Zulu merch. Uh-huh. Um, you can go to ZuluNation.com. You click on official store. Uh, mm-hmm. That's the official store for the Universal Zulu Nation. Um, okay. Yeah. So for Instagram, it's Zulu Merch. Okay. Uh, the Facebook, it's Zulu Merch. So yeah, you just type in Zulu Merch, and you know, one thing will lead to another. You know, we don't have a YouTube page and stuff like that, but um, you know, but the commercials are out there. You know, once you and if you want to buy the coin direct. All you have to do is just type in coins dot zulumerch dot com, and that'll that'll that's the landing page. It'll take you right to the coin. You can see the commercials. You can read about the coin. You can look at the different purities. Like everything, every question that you're gonna have for us is already on the website. So it'll be self-explanatory there. So you'll have all the information there as well. So. This is amazing, and it has truly been an honor to speak with you, and I'm sure you have so much more to share, and I really hope that um, that our listeners tune in and reach out to you and also, you know, just surf the website and see, you know, what other information, you know, is, is to be offered because to be able to travel the world doing something that you love and to be able to give back with something with something as innovative as a hip hop coin is just truly amazing and I congratulate you on this on this new venture and I can't wait to actually have one in my hands. So yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> no, absolutely. And this is this is for all of us. This isn't something that's just for myself. Because we just don't know what's gonna happen with this coin. You know, we, we just have no idea. Just everybody, everybody's in tune. Everybody re- realizes, everybody recognizes that this is the first mm-hmm. coin, official coin. So, you know, it's all. I'm it's right up here to on us. the website right now. I'm, I'm going to start checking everything out. Mm-hmm. And I hope that everyone listening does the same. Mr. Jay Sanchez. Right. We thank you for joining us on HODB today. It has been an absolute pleasure, and I look forward to hearing great things about you and this hip-hop coin. And trust and believe, as we as you grow, we grow, and I will own one of those coins very soon. Absolutely. Excellent. <laughs> thank you for your Peace. time. I appreciate no it. No problem. Blessings, brother.